Hi, let's continue with our section. And in this video, I will introduce to you key performance indicators and visualization. So when you run a marketing campaign or any other marketing efforts, you would most likely want to know how well each of them performs and understand the weaknesses and strengths of each of your marketing efforts. So in this section, we are going to discuss commonly used key performance indicator with this KPI that help you track the performance of your marketing efforts. More, specific, more specifically, we'll cover short KPIs and sales revenue cost per acquisition CPA, digital marketing KPIs, and site traffic. So we'll learn how these KPIs can help you to stay on track toward your marketing goals. After discussing some of the commonly used KPIs, we will then learn how we can use Python to compute short KPIs and build visualizations of those KPIs. So in this section, we will use a bank marketing data set that also cases a real world case of marketing campaigns for finance organization. We will learn how we can use Pandas and Matplotlib library to analyze the data and build visualizations. So let's talk about the KPIs to measure performance of different marketing efforts. So every marketing effort costs money to the company. When you run marketing campaigns through emails, sending each email costs some money. And when you are running marketing efforts on social network services or broadcast media, it also requires some capital as Every marketing effort is associated with some cost. It's critical to look at the performance of marketing campaigns and track the return on investment, which is ROI of your marketing campaigns. We will mainly discuss how to track sales, revenue, CBA, and digital marketing KPIs in this section. So is it clear that the goal of the every marketing effort is to generate and draw more revenue for the company? So no company wants to spend more money on marketing than it generates. In order to correctly report the sales revenue, you will need to clearly define how you want to attribute sales to each of your marketing efforts. Some sales may come from email marketing campaigns while some others may come from advertisement placed on TV or public transportation. Some sales could even more naturally, could even come naturally without any attributions to any of your marketing campaigns. So in order to correctly report how much sales revenue each of your marketing efforts drives, you will have to clearly define the rules to attribute your sales to each of your marketing efforts. So for example, if you are an e-commerce e company and promoting special offers through email and TV marketing campaigns, you may want to put a different URL in the emails than the URL in your TV commercial. This way you can identify and differentiate those sales from email marketing campaigns from those sales from marketing efforts through TV. So it's a time to talk about cost per acquisition CPA. So another way to look at the effectiveness of your marketing effort is CPA. The KPI matrix tells how much it costs to acquire a customer through your marketing effort. A high CPA means it costs more to acquire a new customer, while a low CPA clearly means it costs less to acquire a new customer. Depending on the type of the business, you can still have very profitable marketing campaigns with high CPA. For example, if you are selling a very luxurious and high-end product where the pool of target, targeted customers is small and it costs more to acquire such customer, your CPA may be high, but the value of each customer you acquire may be even higher and result in a profitable marketing campaign. So we will look at the following hypothetical case. So we have happy hour cost $25,000. 
as can be seen in the picture i hope you can see customer acquires is 40 cpi is 625 dollar sale is fifty thousand dollar sales per customer is one thousand dollar and value of the campaign is twenty five thousand dollar so if you look at the, this spreadsheet happy hour event was the most expensive marketing event in terms of both the total and the cpi however it generated the most sales and sales per customer Thus, it was the more valuable campaign. On the other hand, radio commercial was the lowest CPA campaign, marketing campaign, even though the total cost is the, is the second highest because it helped the business to acquire the most number of customers. However, however, the total sales from this customer did not exceed the total cost of, the, of this campaign and introduced a uh, net loss to the company so even though this is a hypothetical situation a similar case can happen in a real life marketing efforts such as happy hour event and web seminar have a better targeted customer than the radio commercial the quality of customer acquired through highly targeted marketing campaign is many times better compared to the non-targeted marketing campaign so now that we have seen how we can break down the marketing campaign results to analyze the cost effectiveness in more depth, we will look at some of the commonly used KPI for the digital marketing. So it's a time to talk about the digital marketing KPIs as the choices of marketing channels roll into online space such as social network services, blogs, and search engines reporting the performance of the of digital marketing efforts has become more and more important. Previously discussed KPIs, sale revenue and cost per acquisition apply in the digital marketing space as well. As an example, based on the individual attribution logic, you can analyze how much sales are generated through different social network services such as Facebook, LinkedIn and Instagram. You can also analyze how many customers are acquired through short marketing channel and see what individual mar digital marketing campaigns, CPIs, and generated the values are. So let's discuss some of the more digital marketing KPIs. So we have the click through rate, which is the CTR, is another KPI that is commonly looked at. Uh, look at for digital marketing efforts. CTR is the percentage of people who view your advertisement and then went on to the click to click the advertisement so we have the ctr equal the number of clicks divided by the number of views so this is a formula so ctr is an important measure in the digital marketing channels as it measures how effective your online marketing is in bringing traffic to your website and then you can use lead ratio to measure how much of the website traffic can be converted into lead list. So typically, only a subset of the website traffic is a good fit to become your customers. This marketing qualified lead, which is the MQL, are the leads that are ready to be marketed to and meet the business specific criteria to become customers who are likely to make purchases based on their characteristics as you start marketing to these qualified leads you should also look at the conversion rate so the conversion rate is the percentage of leads that are converted into active customers you can define what should be considered as a conversions based on your marketing goals so if your goal is to see what percentage of leads become paying customers, then you can compute the conversion rate somewhat similar to the following formula. So we got the conversion rate equal the number of paying customers divided by the number of leads. So if your goal is to see what percentage of leads sign up on the website, you, then you can compute the conversion rate as the following formula. 
So we got conversion rate equal the number of side minus ups divided by the number of leads. So we have looked at various KPI so far and discussed how this KPI can help you track the progress and performance of your marketing efforts. We will now look at how to use Python to compose such KPI and build visualizations. And that is all in this video. So I hope you enjoy it and you get excited and I will see you in the next video.